Hello everyone. Today I will be doing my color swatch chart for my Winsor & Newton Cotman 45 color pan set. So I thought I would save time by having them open and ready to go. And my pan is not as full as it is when it arrives because the colors that were duplicates and the two the, the black and whites are pulled out. So when you get the the set, a few of the colors are, are duplicates like the um alizarin crimson. Well, it won't focus. But alizarin crimson, um the ultra yeah the ultramarine is doubled. You get two Chinese whites in the set. Um, two yellow ochres. Two, let me see, is it two lamp blacks or two? Okay, it's two ivory blacks. You get two ivory blacks in the set and the uh, lamp black. So I, um, I removed all of the colors that were doubles and I also removed my whites and my blacks well you know I think I will since it's a color swatch video I think I'll just because some people may want to see what the blacks look like I don't really need the black in my set but I think I'll include both of the blacks in the um in the swatch just so that people can see and when it first arrives I have another set here put it back in focus when the set first arrives <clears throat> it comes this is what it looks like when it first when you first open it this is what the set looks like so I save time on that and um went ahead and opened them had them open but I'll just open these two and I'll include these in the swatch as well make sure I don't yeah one ivory and one lamp okay so I'll push all of these push them down by one I just feel like that when I fix things it has to have a be in a certain order or pattern so And I have not labeled my chart yet, so I'll do that later. Right now, I'll just get into doing the swatches and to get a better view of the chart. I'll remove this tray for now and put the chart up. Okay. I also have three um, new Cotman brushes in size 14. I have the size 14, 12, and 8. So for the for the swatching, I'll be using the size 8.
since I don't have them labeled, I think I'm going to pull the other ones so I can let you know which colors I'm swatching. Okay, maybe not. I was going to set the other full tray up here, but I opened it so fast that they fell out and I'll just pick them up and fix them after I'm done. But I will just use the chart that is included. And this is a list of all the colors that I'm swatching right now. And the one I just swatched was the lemon yellow. Lemon yellow hue. And the next one is cadmium. Cadmium yellow pale hue. So I had to pause to pick the spill pans up because it was bothering me. Okay, so now I am on the third color and that's Gamble's Hue. And I've, I know I've showed... Um, some of my artist grade watercolor um sets in previous videos but i just decided to get i i have a 12 the 12 color cotton set i think i have like two of them um but i wanted the larger set because i have watercolor coloring books and i didn't want to keep using artist grade um watercolors in my coloring books so I just decided to get the the 45 color set of Cotman watercolors the one I just did was cadmium yellow hue and now this is cadmium orange hue And next it is cadmium red pale hue. And cadmium red hue. Next is Cadmium Red Deep. Add a little more color to that. And this is um, Canton XL paper that I'm doing the swatches on. Next, I'm doing Alizarin Crimson. And permanent rolls. I'm 
And next I have Rose Matter. Mauve is next. is dioxazine purple and ultramarine This is the first row so far. And now we'll move to the second one. And the first color is cobalt blue. Next is Crocillion Blue. Yeah. And then Turquoise. I always think turquoise is so pretty. Some of the darker blue colors I love swatching the darker blues. Next we have intense blue, phalo blue. And that should be a pretty one too. Beautiful. And Prussian blue. Okay, now 
the greens and the first color is phthalo green and viridian hue next is emerald yes Okay, yeah, next is emerald green. Hooker's green. Hooker's green dark. Next one is Hooker's Green Light. Next is Sap Green. And I have bleeding coming into that one. Um, next is raw sienna. And then yellow ochre. this row to the last row okay up first is raw umber Keep pushing it out of the frame. Got Sienna. light red
Indian red. Burnt umber. Van Dyke Brown Sepia Indigo Paint Gray Make sure I put the blacks in right here. I just set them in. Okay, this is the ivory black. And this is the lamp black. That row completed. So I really hope you enjoyed this video because I know I just love watching color swatch videos. I started to just go ahead and swatch the card when I opened the paint, but I said, no, I might as well go ahead on and record it. And I also have a coloring book collection video that I filmed probably almost a month ago now that I I haven't uploaded yet. So I'll, I guess by morning I'll decide whether or not I'm going to just go ahead on and upload that video. But until next time, thanks for watching.